My potato. Everybody clock in. Clock in early. Oof. Today... My OBS hated me. But I'm here. Streamers who stream imagine. I know, right? Hi, Mac. Hi, Keelan. Everybody fucking clock in. Clock in, everybody. You you know why I couldn't stream, Mac. Yeah, I know. I, I know you're goofing. I know. I know. One minute, everybody. One minute. Get all so nervous today. Cause I haven't streamed in almost a week. A whole week. Am I a fraud? <laughs> First non sub into chat gets a gifted? <gasps> Gasp! I technically owe chat two subs next month. You, you guys will get the drama update. You'll get the update. Hi, Potato. Okay, three, two, one. Yo. Ain't no way. Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. Thank you, Mac. You've gifted 111? You're crazy. Potato was here quick, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it, Mac. Can we get some wax in chat? Thank you. Mac Eulin. I have to adjust my settings again. You'll get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you, Mac. Um, guys. I have a few updates. So last time I streamed was you're going you're driving to therapy today, Giga Chad. <laughs> oh wait, you have that today, huh? It's Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. Anyway, so update. Last time I streamed was last Wednesday. We watched the direct best direct in history. So much Mario, it was amazing. I need to make this softer. Um, but bad news. I also, my disability got denied, right? So big L, big L. And how it works is there's no way for you to find out why unless you call. So I was waiting for a callback from Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I had to be like have my phone on standby the way I could like pick it up right away. So I finally got a callback on Monday, but I should have gotten a callback by at least Friday. And my agent was like, yeah, it got denied because um, they deemed you that you're still able to kind of work. Which is kind of BS because the benefits I applied for, like, you're supposed to still be able to work when receiving those benefits. So it's kind of stupid. Anyway, so I finally got, like, the, the reason for my denial in the mail on Friday. And it said that... I have the Chiari 1 malformation, which is big brain, and then fibromyalgia, which is not what I have technically, because fibromyalgia is tech is categorized by, like, body pains for no reason, but I have a reason for my fucking pain, it's because I have, like, little cysts in my spine, so, like, I have this very rare disease because of my brain leaking into my spine. So when I saw that paperwork, I was like, oh, they have the wrong freaking diagnosis on my file. And I was mad because I specifically spelled, because the disease was like some 20 character long thing. It sounds weird. I spelled out for the guy. And apparently for the more rarer conditions, because when they, they fill your application on your behalf for some parts of it, there's like a drop down menu. So if it's not common enough, there's no option to like check the box. So for my specific disease that I have, there's no box to check. So he probably checked the wrong thing, or he just checked the, something that is similar, because fibromyalgia is kind of similar to what I have. But because of that one bozo, no, he was super nice. He sounded, he sounded older. 
So I don't know if he just like had a brain fart. Anyway, so because of that one guy, even though they looked at my medical records that say I have this condition, they were like, oh, we're not gonna put that on your file. So I was on the phone with my agent on Monday and she's like, oh, it's probably a mistake then. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's, but I, so I submitted an appeal. Hopefully it'll get reviewed within a month. But the problem is since the condition I have is rare, cause there's like a social security blue book, which is like the specific parameters and symptoms you have to have for whatever disease. But since my disease is not in the blue book cause it's rare, um, only 20,000 people in the States have it, so that constitutes it as rare. Um, because of that, there's, like, different specifications I have to meet. Like, I don't have to be, like, a total cripple, but I just have to show some level of impairment. You guys can have a convention? Shut up! I'm not stupid! <laughs> um, so that was yesterday. Because... A sitting convention? <laughs> Hi, Kobobo, welcome in. So that was yesterday. So now I have to wait for them to receive my appeal and then it's gonna be over the phone. So basically I have to have my phone on standby all month. Um, so if any time I have to answer the phone, I have to answer the phone, guys. I'll just play like a little YouTube video of mine. I'll probably play like Either my Fortnite gameplay or the, um, <laughs> no streams for a month. Imagine. I would be a dead channel. My sub count is already at 26. I'm fucking dead. My channel's dead. I need to put the pen down. So if I have to answer the phone, I have to answer it, okay? Um, because how it works is it's not a scheduled call, which I think is kind of BS. That You just have to pick up the phone. Um, and I don't know if there, because there's like no... There's no direct number that I can call. So I just have to wait. I just have to wait. So hopefully, hopefully I don't get denied again. Because if I get denied again, I'm actually fucked. Because unless little stinky Joe Biden passes the student loan forgiveness program, which expires on Friday. Because you know how um, the, the courts are debating if it's constitutional or not. Um... So, I am crossing my fingers that uh, the Supreme Court will agree to it. I'm on top of the leaderboard GigaChad Mac. For once. <coughs> um, so, that was the past few days. Because that was stressful. Because when I was telling my agent, she was like, Hmm, I was very disappointed that you got denied. And I'm like, yeah, me too. I cried. Well, hopefully it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But guys, enough ranting, enough venting. We're not playing Among Us. I dropped my controller. Big news, everybody. The title is real and true. I am now technically and officially a full-time streamer because my final homework assignment I submitted on Friday. I technically graduate on this Friday the 30th, I will not be streaming that day because I, I was, it's an online graduation. So I, I just need to see if like my name is on the list of online graduates. So everybody, I finally am done with college. You guys want to know what my GPA is? <laughs> so for my degree program, I have a, a bachelor's in graphic design. It's technically a computer science degree. <laughs> My GPA, after, okay, I got 100% in my last class that I submitted on Saturday, and then I got a 92.9 on my other one. So my GPA is probably a a 2.2 or a 2.3. Can we watch your reaction to your name being called? I'll, I'll clip it. I'll, <laughs> I'll clip it myself. Because, is it? Okay, you know how people when they get canceled online, they try to find they try to like DOX you and then they find like where you work in your uni and then they do bad shit. So I think I asked you guys this a few months ago. They were saying like I should wait a few months before I leak like what school I went to. That's my reaction to your GPA. I was mentally ill for years. 
But, um, I would never say it. That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> wait, wait, I think I'll just edit <laughs> the graduation stream to just crop my name on the screen. <laughs> Be like, that's me. Oh, wait, it has my last name. Uh, we're not reacting to it, guys. J just trust. Just trust that I have a certificate. <clears throat> I dropped out and got put on probation. That's kind of what happened to me. Because, like, what happened was... Because I graduated high school in 17. And then... So, six years ago. So, basically, what happened was... I was working the whole time while I was in college. So... Especially with online college, it's so much easier to prioritize... Um like going to work than like logging onto your computer, right? So for like two years, I barely did my homework. I essentially had to read classes. And then from early 22, from early 2022, I was put on probation. So like I had to maintain A's and B's. So that was really stressful, but I did it. My GPA was back up to graduate. So I will be doing a graduation stream next week. Congrats on finishing college. Thank you, Crystal. I saw you in Emmy Leaf's chat. You were such a menace, actually. <laughs> Can we get some yo's? Hi, Crystal. I was gonna play Mario Kart yesterday on stream, but then OBS was shitting itself. Even today. Today. Because I've been having this issue with my computer. I don't know what the problem is. Tech guys, do not tell me what to do. I, I tried fucking everything. Um... So anytime when I open Premiere and try to manually click file save or file save as, it just crashes. I don't know what the problem is. And the same thing is happening in OBS. Like sometimes when I er open certain windows within OBS, it freezes. And I reinstalled it. I did like a a system scan where you see if you have any like bugged files and it I still didn't work. <laughs> Thank you for another gifted sub, Mac! Thank you, Mac! Can we get some wax in chat? Thank you, Mac. Went to Crystal, oiling up the little chatters. You got bugs in your computer? I know! We have been getting ants in the house, too, so I don't know. That could be it. So, I, like, I did a, a malware check, I did a bug check, it reinstalled any, like, iffy programs, and it's still not working. So, I did find a workaround. Like, OBS is fine, I have my face cam up, but... It took like an hour, because what happens is, whenever I try to add a video source, it freezes. So then it says, do you want to close OBS or keep it running? So I do click keep it running, and then two minutes later, it unfreezes. So it take it because I have to add my camera to every single scene, because it's not linked. So it took me like an hour just to set up my camera scenes. So hopefully it just fixes itself, I don't know. It did start happening after the new after the new after the new OBS update. So it'll probably get patched in like a week or something. Why do you guys always have ants? It's because the food I make is delicious, obviously. Um, let's see what else, what else? Oh, chatters. I'm a brokey. So Kobobo, I know you got the best clipper for May. Um, Meg Esports will not have money until next month. I'm very sorry. So you get your gift card next month. Um. Anyway. Back to the big news. I am now technically a full-time streamer, everybody. Unemployed, I'm now gonna be going full ham at streaming. Plan is simple. I'm gonna stay with the current plan of streaming when I'm able to. I'm gonna try stream on weekends more. So, plan is, like, if I'm feeling great, if I'm having a great week health-wise, plan is, would you guys do rather have subscriber-only streams on, like, Mondays or Fridays? Because I want to do one mandatory sub-only a week. 24-hour stream, when? For the subathon. I know Kobobo was complaining about me doing a 12 hour cap for a subathon, so maybe I'll do like an 18 hour cap. Cause I don't wanna sleep on stream. I don't wanna do that. There's little perverts in chat. Okay, that's fine, Kobobo. I'll, I'll hopefully, cause I was riding on getting, because technically, technically, you can spend your benefits on like food, housing, or entertainment, cause that helps your mental health. So, Sleep in a sleeping bag? 
We don't even have a sleep. Sleeping bags are expensive. You can sometimes find a decent one on like a Goodwill or some shit. Okay, so plan is simple. I want to go live on Peace and Art once a week. I might do that on Mondays. Normal stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sub only Friday. And then maybe stream on weekends if I am able to. Because now that it's summer, a few of my friends are like out of school too, so I can hang out with them more. <clears throat> you don't even really have to give me the gift card, but then I'd be scamming. I'd be going against my word, so it'll it'll just be like an IOU. <laughs> oh, chatters. Another reason why, because technically now that I'm full time, I'm going to keep the sub goal at 50 because 50 subs is technically what I need income wise to cover my baseline expenses. So it's staying at 50. Um, I liked doing the daily sub goals and having them do the bonus evening streams, but I was thinking about it <clears throat> and we'll talk about this more on Friday because guys, we have a new painting drop. This Friday, I'll probably do the stream at like 11 or 12 a.m., but the products will be up in the morning. So, new painting drop on Friday, because I want to be putting more time... <laughs> Stop RPing, Kobo. Stop it. <laughs> We're never getting a sub only again. No, 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 Mac, the plan is simple. The plan for this summer is, now that I'm technically out of school and not working, Omega Dance. <laughs> I can be putting more time into editing into painting because the plan is to do an abstract painting drop every two months and then on the opposite months i want to do minis so like two by twos or four by fours and sell those for like a mid-range price point and maybe pause maybe i'll do stickers finally i'm i don't think i ever want to do prints i definitely want to do paintings and replicas but i think stickers is something that i can do because the stickers I have in mind, I don't want to do digital drawings. I think the idea of like scanning a painted image and make that into a sticker is cool. Because Emmy has these, um guys, go follow at Emmy Beef on Twitch. <laughs> um, she has these stickers that are like made from 3D rendered images that she makes and just the texture comes through in the sticker and I think that's really cool. So I think like painting a design for a sticker would be like an interesting concept. Podcast piece. Oh yeah, she has a podcast that's launching next week. Uh, let me type it in chat. I'm gonna be the. F oh wait, it's on my Twitter. I'll pull it up real quick. I'll pull it up real quick. Let me find it. Where's my mouse? Let's see. Let's see. Right here. She tweeted about it. Yeah, look. Emmy Beef. Twitch.tv slash Emmy Beef. Let me type it in chat. Oh wait, I can shout her out. <laughs> uh, Twitch channel. Everybody, go follow her Twitch channel. And if you are in her streams, tell her you found her through me, okay? <laughs> I wish you could clip some bullies because you were talking shit about stickers. Okay, it's not stickers the product, it's the people only who make stickers. Okay? <laughs> Alright, go follow her Twitch. Um, She's starting a podcast next week. And I'm going to be her first ever guest for the third episode. So in about three weeks to a month-ish. So go follow her channel. Because then you can type in chat. Okay, what else? What else? Hmm, peace I too. Hmm. Stickers and pins. I want to do pins. Okay, the dream, the dream is I want to do illustration for like t-shirt design. I think that will go crazy. Because the goal is to have like a print shop. Like a, cause there's, you could do vinyl prints for shirts and then also screen printing. I want to have a screen printing shop. That's the dream. Cause then you can have a whole bunch of artists on. Okay. <clears throat> Stop. Okay. I don't talk so much shit about specific aspects of content creation, but you know, just because I don't do it doesn't mean I don't support other people who do it, okay? <laughs> uh, 
I mean, you guys can probably find the clip where I talk shit about podcasts on my YouTube clip channel. Guys, pin chat, follow, or go subscribe to youtube.com slash at peace in 17 clips, everybody. <laughs> peace talks a lot of shit. Yeah, I do. Okay. When I talk shit, I don't talk shit about people. I talk shit about, like, concepts. I think that's totally different. Okay, there's a big difference. Okay, what else? What else? Okay, TLDR. I'm gonna put more... Because I need to be putting more hours into stream. Because long-term goals is... My goal by December... Is to make enough Twitch revenue or YouTube revenue to hire an editor. That way we can edit down, like, main streams into, like, actual 20-minute highlights. That's the goal. Because if Stinky Joe Biden doesn't pass the debt relief, then I'm fucked. I'm boom. So I have to have some type of income by January. Because you get that six-month um, relief period. Are you an Emmy gonna drama farm? No, obviously not. We hate drama farming. No. uh Okay, I think that is all catch-up wise. I'm a great editor. I don't believe in child labor. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't. I have experience with K-pop, anime, and Avengers edits. I don't want my videos to be zoomer-pilled, okay? If you guys watch, like, Connor Eats Pants- Or no, no, what's the wrong- Or I like Connor Eats Pants YouTube videos, I think they're pretty solid. Because they're more focused on, like, chat and commentary. But if you watch, like, Connor Dog VA, I like the editing style that they do, but they're a bit too meme -y. So I think something between is what I want. But I need to have income to pay the editor. Okay, what else? I think that is all catch-up wise. Nothing else crazy. Oh, chatters, gentle reminder. Um, we are nearing the end of June. I know I haven't streamed much this month. Big L, peace I to L. <laughs> stop booing, stop, guys, stop. Just because you watch me doesn't mean... <laughs> I can't, I can't. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's near the end of the month, so you guys have until Friday if you want to be eligible for a portrait sketch card. You should bring back Fall Guys in July. You know how sometimes like on IG or TikTok, it'll say, Oh, one year ago you did this. Like a week ago on my recommended post to make, it said a year ago I got my first Fall Guys win. Maybe- Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a one-off fall, guys. I won't do it semi-regularly. Oh, I was playing Cozy Grove, and I... <laughs> I've been playing Cozy Grove, like, almost every day offline to grind materials. And... I accidentally didn't save one night, so I lost a bunch of materials, and I was so mad. We might play it later this week. Hi, Wolf! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello. It's already been a year? Yeah, I think I started playing it in June. Fall Guys was popping off. I don't- bleh. Fall Guys was not good for my channel, though. Not enough people watched. Following for a year? That's crazy. You didn't start chatting till like two months after you followed, though, Kobo, but honestly, big L. <laughs> okay, I think that is everything. That has happened in the past few days. Just another gentle reminder, everybody. Easternart.shopify has a new painting drop on Friday. I also will be doing a giveaway stream on Friday on this channel. Where I'll be giving away one free painting and then two gift cards. So everybody, make sure you're watching the stream on Friday. It'll be another channel point giveaway. So save your channel points. Damn, a few more days, woo. So many summer followers. Yeah. That's because that's when my channel started popping off last year. Because all the little zoomers were on TikTok. <laughs> okay, today, guys, today the plan is simple. We're gonna figure out how to be a real streamer. So I have a few sim games lined up for everybody. 
So we're gonna see what it's like to be a real streamer. Also, gentle reminder, if you are... <laughs> it's not a dating sim. <laughs> and no, it, it's not a dating sim. Even though a lot of creators bang their fans, that is not the game we're playing today. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, whenever I get- Oh wait, Chatters, if you knew her, follow the channel, you get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our follow goal today? We already got one follow. Smile. I always get sussed out whenever I get a follower during a stream and then they chat right away. I'm like, are they bad? And that's why like, just being in just chatting is scary. You usually get a lot of sus people. Uh, guys, type one if you're sus, secretly. I think I'm gonna put my hair up. I don't like this. <laughs> Any sus chatters? Are there really no sus chatters? Are you guys all wholesome? Ain't no way. You know what? I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Oops. <laughs> I'm a sus chatter. Okay. So. Today. I have a good handful of video games to play. It doesn't let me say the S word? Shit? Why are you self-reporting? Okay. <clears throat> so the first game, because <laughs> there is technically... Oh, why is it not doing the right thing? Oh, here. <clears throat> oh. Why is sus a blocked word? That's weird. That is weird. Okay, let's get the music back on. That is weird. Anyway, is, wait, is sus actually a blocked word? It's not! Oh wait, sussy? Oh, I- maybe. Anyway, anyway. So this first game... Because what I did simply is I, I I googled YouTube or Twitch Streamer Simulator. Because there is a game on Steam that's like Twitch Simulator. And it's basically like you at your computer playing games and streaming. That's the game. But it's $20. And I don't have $20. So, I spent it all on Robux. So the first game I have is called YouTuber Simulator. This is just a little biopsy. This looks like a mental health awareness game, apparently. Which is kind of cool, kind of sick. Okay, from Player Role. YouTuber Simulator. In the game, you assume a role of a YouTube streamer. Your goal is to keep a balance in your life between building your subscriber base, keeping the discussion in the comments civil, all while maintaining your own mental health. Make smart choices about your content. Remember to go outside and talk to your friends to keep you sane. And don't let hate speech destroy your passion. Okay. <clears throat> so, now I think we can actually play. <laughs> Not his song going on vacation and still streaming? Not gonna lie. I loved all of the Japan streams he did. They went crazy. Okay, I'm gonna- I don't know if this game has music in it or not. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, I know the crop on this game is horrible. There's nothing else I can do, okay? No, wait, chatters. If I went on vacation to a foreign country, wouldn't you guys want me to stream? Or at least vlog it? Hot girl or basic guy? I'm obviously gonna play the grill. Oh, wait, is there really no music? Here, let's get some music on. He's sitting inside arguing. Eh, it's not some people have fun. I don't care. Remember, I don't talk drama about other people. I talk drama about my own shit. Oops. Here, let's 
here. I, I don't- there's no good crop for this game. Okay. So, let's see. <clears throat> Man, I'm doing nothing and my sub- <laughs> My sub count is going up. What? If only it were this easy. If only. Okay. Okay, so I think it's kind of like Would You Rather, right? A funny joke came to your mind, but you'll pick at another person's race. Okay, my opinion on, like, making some controversial or racial-based jokes is you have to understand the lived experience. Like, I'm Asian, Hispanic, I live in America, so I think it's, a, it's fine to make jokes about those groups of people because I have that lived experience. But if you're making jokes about experiences that you don't understand the lived experience, then it's seen as making fun of, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep it to myself. Oh, you are the worst. How do I delete the comment? Ban them. Oh wait, I'm streaming. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, I can choose my actions here. Oh, look, everybody's being nice. That was cool. So weak. Shut the fuck up, bozo. Why did you leave the kitchen? Here, I'm, I'm going outside. I'm gonna go take a walk. Oh, I was sad! Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at my sub count. My sub count when I go for a walk. Why am I losing so many subs? You have an idea for a quick live vlog. Don't do it. It's your time to off or make a video. I'll make a video if it's three minutes. Okay, why is my sub count going down? Oh, I'll go home. I'll go home. Um, let's- let's stream! I love streaming! I'm so much better at this. So weak! People like you should not stream! Dude. <laughs> if my chat became like this, I would be so sad. I'm responding to comments! Wait, my sub count is going up? Guys, let's become DJ. No, I don't want to write two chats at once. Come on, I don't. Ooh, juicy. One of your favorite subscribers is attacking other viewers. Dude, imagine Kobobo just popped off one day and started saying slurs, though. <laughs> the kitchen is a little empty, slash J. <laughs> Let him do it or warn him that you will not tolerate it. I don't do favorites. You can shut the fuck up, bozo. Keep up the good work. Looks okay. Lovely. The stream. This is all just too much pressure. You leave your channel with all the haters and never go back. If you would like to try again, remember to keep your stress levels as low as possible. Oh wait, right here there's a bar that says Hateful Comet Chance 3.8. Why do you even bother? Just see what happens, yeah. Wait, does the clock move back here? You're the worst, so weak. Why is everybody so mean? It's only a 5% negative comment rate, but there's literally so many. Respond to comments. I'll watch other people, yay. Somebody made a donation with a comment telling how stupid the other viewer is. Tell them thank you or ask them to stop bullying. Okay, honestly, it depends on who they're picking on. Like, let's say, example. If it were, like, Crystal shitting on Mac, I would giggle and say thank you. But if it were, like, Crystal shitting on Wolf, I would be mad. Because Wolf is a good chatter. I would say stop picking on each other. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go visit my friends. Yeah, everybody must be nice to Wolf. Man, look at- Dude, the moment I step outside, I lose so many subs. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Let me click go live. I think what was the only person we're nice to? And new chatters, of course. Oh no! Your last YouTube video did very poorly. Two 
real, too real. I mean, I don't have like monetization yet, so it doesn't matter if a video does well or not because for, for my YouTube clips channel, what I need to have is watch hours. So the only thing I get dinged for is like, if it gets less views, then it's just longer to be monetized, but I don't give a fuck. But like, it'd be different if I had like editors who relied on the performance of my videos to do well. I would be more like sad if a video flopped that I worked on or I guess a future team worked on. <clears throat> um, try to make the next one better or blame it on others. Why would I blame it on people? Because I think with YouTube especially, you can't expect your audience to watch everything you do, you know? Okay, I think I'm gonna fix the crop on here. I hate how there's just a black bar. Let me fix this. Yeah, we don't need the top crop. By the way, this looks- I hate this. I, I hate this. <laughs> Why can't they just have, like, normal-sized games? YouTube looks so hard to grow on. I definitely think with the addition of YouTube Shorts UI on both desktop mobile and televisions, it's a lot easier for your videos to get exposed to. Because what I've been seeing in my Shorts feeds is people editing down like their 20 minute like regular video to like a one minute short that way it gets people to watch the full video which i think is a good strategy um but i do think the need for like constant output for youtube especially will kill your passion that's why i think streaming is good entry level because it's mainly just like hanging out or like literally a streamer your consciousness Streaming your consciousness as you're speaking, right? Or commentating. Like, I know I personally admire YouTube content creators more than streaming, because to me, YouTube is more creative than stream content. But I do find myself liking the personalities and feeling more connected with stream content. I talk to myself when I'm gaming, so I think I'd like streaming. Um, everybody, if you want to stream, wait till you're an adult. I would not stream as a minor, just in general. Because you never know why people are watching. And just in general, there's always going to be like a lot of creeps online. So just for your own personal safety, don't stream unless you're an adult. Also, I don't like how there's... You know how there's like legislation possibly being passed for like like child labor laws for YouTube, there's no regulation for like streaming for minors. So that's my concern. Like I don't think any should, should come home from school and stream Fortnite for five hours instead of doing homework, you know? <clears throat> um, anyway, that was a long tangent. <laughs> Your last video, video did poorly. Try to make the next one better or blame it on others. Oh, I was going back to this. You should not expect your audience to watch every stream, to watch every video, to like every post you make. You should just be trying to make good things. Because if you're blaming it on others, then you're projecting. And if your audience isn't watching, then you need to either change your content or really find a more um, specific audience. I'm gonna try to make the next one better. Smile. Lovely, nice one. Just see what happens. Well, long time streaming, yeah. Keep up the good work, thank you. You're the worst? Fine, I'm an extreme. <laughs> you sound okay? I'm responding. Bad play. Okay, I'm gonna watch other people play games. My stress doesn't go down as quickly, though. But also my passion increases. Because whenever I went outside, my passion decreased, but also my stress decreased, too. <clears throat> You've got a chance for a collaboration video with a bigger creator known for his controversial and aggressive comments. Um, I'd avoid collaborating. Personally. Because even online, you never know how people truly are.
Okay, my sub count isn't falling nearly as much. I'm only falling like... Like three a second, which isn't crazy. Imagine this was like Twitch subs, not YouTube subs. <laughs> Why do you even bother? I love you, stream. Lovely. Okay, a well-known streamer just had a big goof. Your viewers are asking for a comment. Laugh at it or explain that nothing big happened. Okay, so either like be mean and not acknowledge it fully or explain that nothing big happened. I think it's important to be practical when you're talking about other people's situations like yeah, in some cases you can joke a little bit. I think that's fine. But if it's something more... I guess if it's something that can be a triggering subject, I, I feel like it should be handled more seriously. I'll explain it like nothing happened. Hi, Titans! Welcome in! You're my in-car entertainment? Smile. So I should not scream at the top of my lungs, right? Oh, wait, I need to end stream! Everybody's being mean! <laughs> wait, I gained 300 subs, though. Holy! Oh, wait, responded to comments, like... Oh, probably, like, in video descriptions. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. Take a walk. Okay, whenever I go outside, my stress and passion drastically fall. Somebody recognizes you on the street, but, but behaves unfriendly. Get away from that person or start a discussion to see what's wrong. Okay, if somebody's being an asshole to me, I'm running away. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna be nice to them. If you're, like, being an asshole in public, I, I'm not obligated to be nice to you, in my opinion. Like, I got honked at the other day for the first time in a long time. I didn't say anything, but I was tempted to, like, yell at the guy. Because <laughs> it was it was two guys in, like, a work car. And whenever, like, somebody fucks- Oh, I, I need to end stream! Um... Like, whenever I see somebody fucking around in a work car, I'm, like, so tempted to, like, snitch. But then I'm scared of, like... Because, like, it was on a walk, so I, I didn't even... I didn't want to, like, have them leak. Like, because they knew where I was. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody made a donation with a comment telling how stupid the other viewer is. I would tell them, don't bully each other, sillies. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Because I have so many friends. I think it's funny. <laughs> Cause like, oh wait, look at all look how many comments I'm getting now. I'm so popular. Your last video did poorly. I'm gonna make a better one, I'll be. Oh my god, wait. Anytime I get a single negative <gasps> No! I lost. I got like 2k subs though. One more try, last try. Okay, so the larger my sub count went, every negative comment made my stress increase drastically more. Hmm. Is this an allegory? I think it's also interesting because the actual number percentage of you getting negative comments when you're smaller is higher. Which I think does make sense because you see like a lot of people going into like less than five viewer streams just to fuck with you that's why like that's the main reason why i have follower 10 minute chat that's the reason why i don't open like links or dms on stream i save it for after stream um because like you get a lot of people coming and trying to like bait you into saying like inappropriate things or like bad words so i, ju I just don't give those people the chance like you guys have noticed since i've disabled follower alerts and 10 minute chat, yes. We don't have many new chatters, but we don't get shitheads. 
And even if I get a bad follower, like somebody who has a sus username, you guys will never know. Because it doesn't show on screen. Because ultimately, I'd rather keep my viewer base safe at the expense of growing faster. Ooh. Your friends are jealous of your new career. Tell them that they should start streaming as well, or tell them how hard it is. If I, if I tell them, like, how difficult it is, it's gonna make me seem, like, snarky, I guess. So I, I guess I'll be encouraging? I don't know. Okay, let's go live! <clears throat> Did a poly streamer with this either just sitting, smiling at the camera? I'm so much better at this than you, click go live, bozo! <laughs> Honestly, I- okay, I'm gonna go watch other streamers. I'm gonna be happy again. I think it's funny when people say, just get good at the game, like, unironically. And it's like, you try to read a chat as you're playing a game. Like, I think I've become so much better at it. Like, you guys will see how I play Mario Kart, which is like one of the more faster paced games, and then I can still read a chat message. So it's like... I, I become a master at it because you just have to read one message. You don't have to read everything in chat. And also, if you choose to pick which chat message you read, it encourages your regular viewers to chat more or also type things that are more entertaining, that'll grab your attention. How stressed do you feel about streaming for right now? Like for me in general? Um, it was definitely a lot more stressful when I had homework, but because like on Monday, so yesterday, I was ready to stream, but I had to have my phone on standby, right? So, I feel like there's a lot less pressure because I have more time. Because before, when I had homework due and stuff, I was like, oh well, I still need to stream these days at least, but I also need to get my homework done. So now that I have that like 10, 10 to 30 hours of less responsibility, I feel like I can truly be stress-free when I click go live. Like, I don't have anything else that's going on in the background, essentially. Like, task-wise. Yeah, I have my own personal drama. But I- Usually when I stream, I don't think about that shit. You know, I'm fully dialed in. I'm talking to chat. I'm trying to think of something that's, like, funny to say. So whenever I'm, like, streaming, like, in the moment, I feel good. And usually for like an hour, I feel good. Cause I'm like, oh, that was fun or that joke was good. But it's usually like the time in between is when it gets stressful because I think when you're in your, when you're in like any industry, it's very hard to not compare yourself. That's a big reason why I don't interact with other smaller creators because I feel like in any small, small in any small streamer space, there's so much underlying edge or competitiveness i think and that's a big reason why in the two years that i've streamed i've only done two collabs <laughs> two or three i think it's because it's not like people are fake bitches but i don't know it's I know a lot of my decisions are hindering my growth, but I don't care about that because I know for now, streaming is an escape from the reality that I face, you know. We love depression. Um, like, I want it to stay a happy space for me, and I feel like if I do grow, if I become too focused on like my sub count or my analytics, it will make it less fun. So that's why I like... Even if we usually just do games on stream, I want the main focus to be the commentary. I want the main focus to be the chat interaction. That's why I do think variety is what will do well for my channel, just for my own sake. Because I do think streaming is one of the few forms of content creation that is relatively by the books easy, but I feel like you're so much more connected with your audience. Anyway, back to the game! 
A funny joke comes to your mind, but you'll pick on another race. What if I tell the joke? This is the anti-art. Oh wait, nothing goes wrong. Oh wait, I'm losing subs. Oh no, I'm ending stream! I'm ending stream! Dude, chat did not like that joke. <laughs> oh no! First, so lame. Keep up the good work. So lame. Passion was still high after that? I know. I feel like that's bad. It's The game is probably encouraging you to do bad things. Um, I'm gonna go watch other streamers because my stress is increasing. <laughs> Natural racist? Not me! No! No! No, I do think, just in general, on um, politics, Andy, for a second. I think a lot of racism or prejudice is learned, so I do believe that people can change and also educate themselves. But you also have to, like, truly change. Like, you have to listen to other people's lived experiences and also acknowledge when your behaviors aren't appropriate. I also don't like when people online will grill people who have openly said, oh, I used to do this, or I used to say slurs, and now I know it's wrong, and they'll still bring it up. It's kind of like, when you behave that way, like, constantly bringing up people's bad behaviors in a way that's meant to rehash it when they've already addressed it, I don't think is helpful. Because it's gonna make people think that they're incapable of change. I welcome in! Hi, Kata! Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in. Okay, back to work. You've got a chance for a collaboration video with a big creator known for his controversial and aggressive comments. I would not do it. I don't need the clout. Unless it was for, it was for like an interview. I feel like that could be kind of interesting. I'm so much better at this. Another stream? You're the worst. Why am I losing subs? I'm- oh wait, I'm not- I'm not streaming. I'm not live. <laughs> so weak. Cool. Why did you leave the kitchen first? Okay, I'm gonna go outside. I'm taking a walk. I wish the clock in the background here moved. That way I can actually see how long I'm streaming for. You have an idea for a quick live vlog. I'm gonna enjoy my time off. Okay, my goal is to hit 3k subs. That's my goal. Wait, my hateful common chance is 17% now. Is that because I made one silly little racist joke in game? I'm going outside! I'm going outside! See, you make one joke and everybody cancels you. I hate the left. <laughs> that's sarcasm. That's sarcasm. It's satire. I'm progressive. Okay, somebody recognizes you on the street and behaves unfriendly. I'm gonna get away from them because they might be a psycho. Killer. What's that one? It's from an Eminem, Eminem song. What's this? It's from the music to be murdered by. Is it Nat? No, it's not Nat. Oh my god, I'm getting so many hate comments! Stop! Why is everybody so mean? Oh, it's from Book of Rhymes. That's what the song is called. It's one line. It's from Book of Rhymes. I, I I had to get to the chorus to figure out what line it was from. Your friends are jealous of your new career. Um, you should also click go live and see how hard it is to gain subs. Dude, I stream so much in this game. Unlike real life, am I right? <laughs> Dude, I get so many hate comments. Stop. Just because I made one silly little joke. I think you have fake friends. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, they're trying to leech off my clout because I have 1,400 subs. You know, no, you know, it's not hard. Subbing for free with Prime. I know, because guys... Wait, I can't pause the game. Okay, I can pause now. Because guys, we're an hour into stream, so it technically is time for all of you guys to subscribe with Prime because an ad is coming. You can avoid that ad also by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or... Link Amazon Prime to Twitch and sub for free. Um, after the ad, we're gonna keep on playing. Hopefully, we'll get lots of subs in game and real life. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy. Good job, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, you guys gotta do more ad break debates. It's good. Oh, another reason why I didn't play the, um, the actual Twitch sim game, it was rated mature, because it makes, I saw, like, some gameplay of it, on, of it on YouTube, but it makes fun of, like, the hot tub meta, and I don't like that, because I love Amaranth, okay? I love Amaranth, and the way they showed it in the game was, like, like, anti- um, sex work. And I was like, uh, I don't like that. <clears throat> but anyway. Also, it was $20, and I don't have $20. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I, I do have it. It's just for my phone bill next week. Okay. Some viewers are very negative about your last videos. Delete their comments or try to reason with them. Ooh, this is interesting. Because I have the belief if somebody is shitting on you, you have control of that conversation. So you can just delete them. Not the <laughs> not the person. Delete the comment. If it's not there, you don't see it easy. I understand optic-wise, like, deleting comments, people are like, Oh, why aren't you acknowledging criticism? It's different if you're like, Hey, you know, the tone of this video is kind of weird versus you're stupid. There's That's not criticism, that's just being a dickhead. So if somebody is, like, saying something that's, like, underlyingly, underlyingly mean, I will delete it. I don't give a shit. Because usually on YouTube, um, I get a lot of, like, not a lot. Just in the past year, I've had, like, five comments that have been like, Ooh, a woman gaming! On IG especially, I got a lot of, like, fat or your ugly comments. That's why on IG only, I have followers only enabled from my comment section. Because what would happen is... Anytime a, a clip that would pop off on reels, I would get like three- I would wake up in the morning to like three to five like mean comments. And this is- a, my clips account has like 150 followers, so it's like a, a nobody account, right? So, I, I thought about it, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna disable comments, because it's like... You- IG especially, you get a lot of like shitheads. I think it's because IG especially is one of the few platforms that focuses so much on like imagery so you get a lot of people who are critical of like how you look or your body so i was like i just don't want to deal with this but i usually get like a lot of snarky people on youtube and that's fine that's just how it is because you get a lot of older people on youtube but if somebody is like criticizing then i might keep it up i might reply to it but if somebody if it's somebody just being like mean then it's pointless i would delete it i don't care i would delete it if i don't see it it's not real anymore Let's click go live. Oh <laughs> my, my comment, my chat is so mean to me. People like you should not what? Oh, I can move this. Oh, I'm going outside. I'm going outside. No! I lost. I, did, I didn't click fast enough. I didn't click end stream fast enough. Damn it. Sad. This is just too much pressure. You leave your channel with all the haters and never go back. If you would like to try again, remember to keep your stress level as low as possible. I tried, but I made one silly little joke and people don't live it down. What is... What is... Can people not let go? Huh? Okay, so chatters, I think I've had enough of the YouTuber simulator. Because technically, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not... That's not what I am. You know what I am? In my heart... I am 
a Twitch streamer, everybody. <laughs> Rose can let go? No! Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. <laughs> Gage? I mean, it is still Pride Month. Okay, let's say. Next game. I think this one might have music in it. <clears throat> Here we go. So this one is called Twitch Clicker. So I think this is just a click game. Oh, there is music! Yay! Is there really no music? Oh, there is! Okay. Oh, it just mutes whenever I click out. <laughs> Twitchy clicker? Yeah, because they don't want to get sued. Oh, no! Ads! We hate ads. Why is there an ad? So am I going to stream every day 9 to 5? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my goal is to try to stream at least four days a week now. Four to five days. Both on this channel and Peace and Arts. Everybody go follow my art channel. <clears throat> okay, why is it still playing the ad? The ad should be over now. Okay, skip. Okay, it's back. Everybody, it's back. Okay, so this is a classic clicker game. Did anybody play Cookie Clicker? I remember just watching Jacksepticeye play it. Okay, click the play button to generate views and money. With 1k views, you'll get a new subscriber. <gasps> Holy moly! Ooh, Prime Loop? Prime Sub? Oh wow, plus zero dollars. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so every time... Okay. You have enough money to buy a fame factor. Fame factors automatically generate views per second. Wait, so th is that view botting? We hate view botting. Twitch death. This is not... This is not real. Okay, I'm gonna put cam... Bottom right. Because these right here in the bottom right are just goals. We don't need to see that. Hey, watch my live stream. Dude, if that is your stream title, that is so stupid. It's actually so stupid. Okay, there's no audio in this game either. Oh, there is. I, I muted the tab. <laughs> Why am I playing Hearthstone? Okay, after clicking the play button ten times, you can click add you can click the ads button to give you more money. Yes, I love ads. Oh, anonymous tip? Wow, thank you for the zero dollars, Bosa. <laughs> okay, I'm spamming. Wait, my money's at 120. Every single click is five dollars. Imagine if streaming were that easy. Imagine. Okay, let's run some ads. I get no money from ads? That's bullshit. Can we tip you zero dollars anonymously? No. Stop! So why is there actual ads? This is stupid. <laughs> I mean, you can tip me $5 for a TTS and the silly voice will say something. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're, we're waiting for the ad to play out. I didn't know there was ads on this site. You know how the Twitch TOS changed to where you can't, like, show video ads embedded in your stream? That is crazy. Another ad is playing. What the fuck? Wait, did you guys see the... What's it called? It's like the YouTube Super Chat, but on Twitch. They only offered it to partners, though, which I think is kind of silly. I definitely think them offering, like, a pinned chat as a donation... Is trying to get more donations in sight. Which is fine. It's just people are theorizing that they're going to ban third party links. So like people who have Streamlabs or Elements donation links. Which will be a big L. Now you know how we feel. I guess. 
Okay, sorry. I need to, I need to un and then remute the tab. Get back to work. Damn, I have 200 viewers? That's crazy. By just clicking buttons? Holy. Wait, is it... Oh, wait, my username is Holy Thunder Dude. And the game is called Guard Card. I'm getting no money from ads? This is bullshit. Why, is, why do they look like Onision? Me and the homies hate Onision. Okay, I'm... I'm going gamer mode. I'm spamming. I want to get to um, 10k viewers. Or maybe I can get 50k so I can be like, Hi, Snap. The stream posture showing right now? Shut up! I don't have a nice gamer chair, okay? Okay, the... The sound of the bleeps is making my ears hurt. <laughs> oh my god, anonymous tip? Zero dollars, wow. Why am I getting no money? Oh, I'm literally viewbotting, look. I'm literally viewbotting. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm getting more money, what? Is this like multipliers? What? I don't understand. Which took the money. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they just take a hundred percent cut. Okay, video on demand. Like VODs? Oh my god, look at my viewer count. Holy moly. Wait, I just noticed a blue Yeti, which is what I have. <laughs> I bought my I bought I bought my blue Yeti because I wanted to try record covers on YouTube, but then I found out you have to have like the legal right to make a cover. So I was like, well, I guess I can't do that. Okay, I'm gonna. Wait, is this my viewer count up here? And is this like unique viewers? Let's see, let's run some ads. Oh, $500 from ads? Holy. Oh, no, stop. Oh my god, Hassan Minaj? I actually, wait, I want to watch this ad. <laughs> I can't show it on screen because I don't want to get clapped. It's for like an e sign company. <laughs> Wait, did you guys see the... Oh, it's Ado Adobe. Huh. Why, the... Why am I getting so many Adobe ads? Do you like everyone named Hassan? Obviously. No, but did you did you guys see the Haunted Mansion movie trailer? Hassan Minaj is in it. And if... I won't spoil the trailer, but I actually laughed at the, the joke he did. It was good. Okay, does anybody know what's going on with the writer strike? I wonder how long it's actually gonna last. Game is back, everybody! No more stinky ads. You got your first subscriber. You need subscribers to unlock more fame factors. You can now unlock another fame factor. Oh wait, I have 17... Okay, so this is my live viewer count. And then this is my sub count. Dude. 17k Andy and only 17 subs? That's so bad. 4,000 dono? Oh my god. Get back to work. Can you guys actually hear my mouse? $2,000 tip? Where are the Oilers at? I need one of those here. What was... Wasn't it Ibai who had the most concurrent Twitch viewers? I think it was... Wait, 42 subs? Holy.
Okay, I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. It looks a bit loud. <laughs> Damn, I have so many viewers. Holy moly. What did I come back to? I am now a 60k Andy. I'm gonna get to a million. 1% sub ratio. Shut up. Look at all the money I have. I have so much money just for my concurrent viewer count. So shut the fuck up. It's like all the big Minecraft streamers, because all their viewers are literally children, they don't have money to pay for a sub. Okay, upload another video for extra views. You can upload new videos by getting more subs. Upload new video! Ooh! <laughs> oh, I'm playing D GTZ. Wait, 200,000 concurrent, that's... $2,000 from ads? Man, I wanna be a 200k Andy. Ooh, live chat. What is that? I don't know what these upgrades do here on the bottom right. I have no idea. Will the Twitch servers be able to even handle like a 1 million viewed stream? Anonymous tip? 5k? Holy moly! Okay, if actually, if somebody had their face cam this big on their stream, people would hate it. Oh, stop! Me and the homies hate Adobe. Guys, another ad. <laughs> I should be getting ad revenue from this. I'm showing it to all my little chatters. Now we wait. <clears throat> This is what I hate about these, I guess, kind of more older sites, is that they'll just blast you with an ad. I will sing a song? Okay. I actually have been practicing a new song. If I ever have a car, I want a bright blue cerulean car. Because then it'd be so easy to find in the parking lot. Okay, let's sing a song. <laughs> Let's see. The song I was trying to learn. Taking back. Angry. So everybody, you know the drill. You can use your channel points to make me sing a song. I have previous singing clips up on my YouTube channel. I just put the playlist in chat. <clears throat> now I'm practicing this one, so it might... It'll sound fine. But this one is Set It Off. Um, Go To Bed Angry featuring KC. This is like one of their few duet songs. And it's really good. <clears throat> So if y'all could, put your favorite emotes, your favorite animotes, animated emotes in the chat, that'd be great. <laughs> How to sing awkward silence like we skipped a beat. Words that burn through the whiskey need. Don't tell me that it's fine, that shit drives me crazy. So crazy. So don't you walk away from me I don't wanna chase you, rather hear you scream Then whisper shit Oh, I, I did the wrong line. Resetting. Because the verses are similar for the male and female vocals. Okay. So don't you walk away from me I don't wanna chase you, rather hear you scream Then ignore the issue and there's no in between Cause if we sleep in our feelings We'll never start healing It's cause the pitch goes really high for some parts And I'm not good at it I tried I remember I was singing this to myself the other day And my sister was hanging out in my room 
And anytime I'll sing in front of her, I'll be like, hey, was it good? She'd be like, no, or it was okay. And I was singing the last part <clears throat> where, because if we sleep in our feelings, we'll never start healing. After I sang that part, she was like, oh, that was actually good. And I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> she's so mean. <laughs> It's it's because she thinks it's annoying when I sing, and that that's totally valid. Because I, I do sing to myself a lot. But yeah, thank you for redeeming Wolf. I appreciate it. We'll never start healing. There's another ad playing. I don't play the game for two minutes, and there's another ad. What is going on? It just me. It just must be like on a timer. But what was cool is when I was playing the game, it just stayed idle. So I probably gained like 10k viewers being offline. Oh no, so, so many ads. And it's all the same ad. It's funny that they're shilling Adobe and cars when this is like a kid website. Ooh, Prime Loot! Oh my god. 300,000 concurrent viewers. $116,000. Oh my god. Anonymous tip? 5k! Holy moly! Okay, if I ever got a $5,000 donation, I don't know what I would do. I mean, that's why like, I, ha I personally keep my donations capped at $10. Because... Yeah, somebody could manually donate multiple times, and that's fine. But I would feel guilty if somebody gave me more than, like, a hundred in one sitting. Because it's like, a hundred dollars, that's like going out to dinner. It's like, go out with your, your GF or something. Okay, I want to get to a million concurrent. That's my goal. Let's run an ad. Holy 4K! Damn, I'm still maintaining that 1% sub count. That's actually horrible. <laughs> I need to- maybe if I run more ads, I'll get more subs. That's how it works, right? Yeah, the moment I can run an ad, I'm running ads. Screw the non-subs. <laughs> Dude, I'm just blasting everybody with an ad like every 10 seconds. Okay, 580k, let's go. Wait, can I look at my analytics? Ooh. I, I've only had 22 organic viewers. That's not good. <laughs> I'm literally viewbotting in this game. Because organic views. I'm literally viewbotting. Which I have no shame in game, of course. I would never do this IRL. Ooh, anonymous tip? 9k, holy moly. Okay, if you think about it, aren't Oilers like technically like investors? They should have a, a piece of the piece in 17 stock, am I right? I'm nearing 800k. My viewer count has not dropped this whole time. Hmm. No, stop! Me and the homies hate ads. <laughs> anyway, so how are you guys doing? Is this what you guys do when I run ads? You just click off? I mean, that's a big reason why I give a warning before I have to manually run ads. That way you guys can, like... Because I hate... When I was... When I didn't have Twitch Turbo... Twitch Turbo is essentially YouTube Premium, but for Twitch. 
Um, I hated when they would just be like an automatic ad with, in the middle of them talking. That was like the most aggravating thing about a Twitch ad. Because with a YouTube ad, they usually, they can put mid-rolls in, but it's not like, you can always go back and watch the YouTube video, but a stream, you can't really do that. That's why, like, I usually try to do ads during transitional parts of my stream. So either if I'm changing up games, and also if you're a regular viewer, you kind of know, like, the time frame in which, like, an ad will play. Unless it's a pre-roll, but I should, I should have very minimal pre-rolls on my channel. Because ever since Twitch changed the rules to where if you run three minutes every hour, you get no pre-rolls. That's basically what I've been doing. Because I do know that pre-rolls are annoying, especially for like, new viewers. Okay, my ad revenue isn't like, increasing that much with my burger. Wait, 900k! Oh my god, I'm so close. Come on, come on. Okay, I want a mil- A million concurrent? Wow. I've peaked. I've peaked. And 1k subs? Oh, okay, I wanna keep going. <laughs> oh wait, all these upgrades? Okay, unlock at 2k subs, 100k subs, a million. Do I need to get to 200 million subs? Maybe I do. I kind of want to see what happens. 12k donation? Oh my god. If you have that much money to draw, a buy a private island, man. I don't buy a streamer house for me, actually. <laughs> Damn, my sub count is going up by fives now. I do think it's kind of sad how, like, all the revenue- Oh, Prime Blue! All the revenue I make from stream in this game goes back towards stream. Like, I'm not- I'm not buying anything for myself. I'm literally at my computer all day, every day. Just to make money to make the stream better. Like, I'm not buying a nice mic. I have a blue Yeti here. Gonna go to the supermarket later? Um... I need tortillas because I went grocery shopping yesterday and I forgot to buy tortillas. Because one of my roommates likes breakfast wraps, so I usually make like 20 at once, that way they have some for like 3 weeks, but I forgot to buy tortillas. And it has to be the spinach ones, because those seemingly are healthier, <laughs> even though they have more carbs. And taste the same. No, stop! Oh, I clicked on the link. Stop. I hate Adobe. <laughs> I hate Adobe. <laughs> I think, because since I've graduated, I'm not going to have access to Adobe programs anymore. Oh, another reason why I have my sub count at 50 is because when I do have to start paying for Adobe, it's $50 a month. So that would be like... I cannot explicitly say my sub split, but I would need about 20 subs to cover Adobe every month. But it's cool. It, the only thing I don't like about Adobe is that it's a, it's a subscription model now. You can either pay monthly for individual programs or you can pay $50 a month for all Creative Cloud access. So instead of paying like 20 per program, you can just get Creative Cloud for 50, which is still a scam. It's still a scam. But they do have, like, business pricing available. So, guys, if I become clouded enough, I can technically claim a business. If I have people working under me for, like, editors. I I was looking up when Adobe made the switch from subscription to, um... Or from 
buying the software to subscription, and they did the switch in like 2010. So it's been like that for a long time. Yeah, I, I technically do have a business license, so I guess I could claim because I have a license for peace and art. But, I mean, I guess I technically do use Adobe programming for like the TikTok videos. I feel like it was way more recent. I mean, I it, it was either 2010 or 2015. I I said 2010, but it's probably 2015-ish. Somebody look it up. Prove me wrong. Cancel me. Yeah, it, I guess it could be a business expense. <laughs> I do think it's funny. Ooh, hardware to upgrade. I can get a new mic. No, come on. Give me a new mic. It was 2011? Okay, so 2010 is closer. I was kind of right. Huh. Damn, 2 million concurrence. I'm just like e -buy. game C please <laughs> like i've been playing gta 5 for hours like is this all my viewers like <laughs> what is this game it's just a clicker game it's classic no but i mean like i've been playing gta 5 for too long Forty-five thousand in donations I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm, okay, I wanna get a million dollars. 23,000 in ad revenue? I can't even picture that much, much money. I think the most money I had at one point was... I think like 20,000. And that was... Oops. Stop. And that was between, like, savings and checking. But that was when I was working a lot. What do the other bills do for the upgrades? Um, I think it's just the tier of, like, upgrade, maybe. Uh, I, whenever we play these silly little games, like, Wolf is actually paying attention to the mechanics. And it's the funniest thing to me. <laughs> like, Wolf is dialed in. I'm <laughs> um, talking about being dialed in. Everybody, if you're new here and you like what you see, follow my channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Because we're another 30 minutes in the stream. Can we hit our daily goal? Smile. Who will ever stop me when... Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I guess this is just like the price tier, maybe. I don't know, but they're all out of my budget. Can't afford it anyway. Okay, my goal is to get a million dollars in revenue. So that I can be like one of the few millionaire streamers. I even no, this is like three hundred dollars. I can't even buy it. I don't know what these are. Oh, maybe, maybe these are like tier one upgrades, tier two. So I have to get all of these done before I can get these. Huh. I don't know. Back to work. 73,000 in donos? And this is why people want to become a streamer. I'm 
mean like yeah money is great but I don't think you'll succeed if you're not a creative person not gonna lie oh my god one million revenue holy shit I did it I'm a millionaire and now I'm broke <laughs> Well, buying it in bundles? Maybe. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. Okay, what's my next goal? I said I wanted to hit a million, but I, already, I hit it so easily. I'm at five million concurrent. How about we'll play this until 1 p.m. Just to see how far I can get. Okay, 6k subs. Not bad. I mean, if you have 6k subs, you probably earn about probably 15 to 20k a month. And that's including like sub revenue donations and then sponsorships. But if you're a 6k Andy, you can get some, I assume, some pretty good sponsorship offers. Stop! I do wonder, like, how much advertisers pay for, like, a traditional, like, television ad spot. And, like, what's the concurrent viewership for that as well? Now we wait. Ooh, under the car ad! I love cars. Actually, I'm terrified of being in cars now. I mean, I get a little bit anxious. It's not my ideal mode of transport. I'd very much rather, like, take a bus or the train. Because, like, when people are in cars, there, there are some dumb people on the road. Damn, 50k in ad revenue. Holy moly. See, like, I've gotten to a point where, like, the amount of the donation or the revenue, I'm unfazed. It's all, like, such an inconceivable number that it just feels like nothing. And that's why billionaires should not exist. I don't think anybody should have a mass amount of money. And I don't like the argument of people being, like, or the people who have higher income not wanting to be taxed more. Like, I believe in a proportional tax system. Because if the rich people expect normal people to live at or below poverty, you can too, bozo. And like, with higher tax rates, it's not like you're getting like all your money taken away. You can still comfortably live on like, 100k a year, and that's fine. Because I hate when people use the argument of like, Oh, I get taxed so much, and they only talk about the dollar amount. It's about the ratio of in which your income is taxed. Because yeah, if you get taxed 10k, for example, but you make 200k a year, you still keep so much of that money. Like, I, I say this, if I ever get to a point where I have, like, middle class income or high class income, which probably won't happen. It'll only happen if I get, like, a good job. Which, now that I have a degree, I have a bit more bargaining power. Um, I wouldn't mind being taxed more. Like, I've grown up at, at like, poverty level my whole life, right? So, it's like... If you're able to live on nothing, and you have money, you should still be able to live, like, comfortably, but you should not, I guess, spend absorbently. Can I, can I get 5% of what? Are you an investor? Uh, bring me a contract first. Hey, ten- Stop! <laughs> oh my god, stop. I hate ads.
if you get taxed, let's say 10% of your income, then it can affect you the same way equally in a sense than other lower or higher income people. Yeah. Because if it's based on percentage, like if everybody pays the same percentage of their income, then it's all proportionally the same. Even if you get taxed 1%, Like, 1% of 100k is $1,000, but you still got 99k. That's what people mean when they say tax the rich. It's because the dollar amount that billionaires pay in taxes is minuscule. Hey, can I play a different game besides GTA 5? Like, come on. Damn, 19 million viewers. How come you don't look like this streamer guy? Because I'm a woman, we have it harder. Upload a video. <gasps> Pokemon! Holy, everybody loves Pokemon. I mean, I did say if I hit... Wait, how many subs and I play Pokemon? I keep on forgetting to run ads. Yeah, it's poop. <laughs> thinking about this like every like online creator like youtuber or streamer or like social media person they have different forms of revenue right the primary ones being donations subscriptions so like subs on twitch or memberships on youtube donations like just normal donations sponsorships is it is i think the final one I don't know if I would ever choose to rely on sponsorships for income because that's not a guarantee unless you get like a long-term contract like if you get like a year or two year contract because like sponsorships depending on your performance and I guess the your reputation with the company aren't necessarily going to be repeated offers. And I do think if you show sponsorships to your audience all the time, then it seems kind of icky. Stop! Okay, that actually, since that one is a movie trailer, if I played that on stream, it would get dinged. Girl, get an ad block? I don't believe in ad block. I would never use ad block on Twitch. Mm mm, never. Does Adblocker work in incognito tabs? Because whenever I do games that require screen capture, I do incognito. Yeah, of course Adblocker doesn't work on Twitch. We hate Adblocker. I wonder what my clicker speed is actually, because I'm, I'm spamming like a motherfucker. Thank you for redeeming, Wolf. Damn, imagine having 58,000 subs. That's... That's like an inconceivable amount of money every month. But still, only 1% of my watchers actually subscribe. That is still kind of sad. 
That is not a good turn. That's not a good crossover rate. Why does he have his tongue out? Because he's working hard. He's a blue collar worker, okay? This is hard labor. And maybe his audience likes looking at it. Isn't that TOS? No. No. <laughs> I like Twitch's TOS, like... I first- I stand with the hot tub meta, okay? I think people can wear what they want as long as they're not showing, like, genitalia. That's my belief, okay? I think the human body is beautiful and no one should be forced to, like, hide shit, okay? That's my opinion. But Twitch's TOS specifically is that you can't do anything innuendous with your body. Like, you can't twerk, you can't, like... You can lick a microphone, but you can't use your tongue in any other context, kinda. You can't- you can't hum. Um, which I- I think those are valid, okay? Because those are mimicking sex acts, right? So I can't eat a really long banana. Um... It's also different if you are, like, a male or female presenting creator. Um, because just in general, any online space will be more sexist towards women, because that's just systemically in a societal problem. So if someone, if, like, a woman did, like, a banana guzzling bit and a guy did one, she would most likely get clapped. If a woman twerks versus a man twerks, she would most likely get clapped. But that comes down to, like, how many people report them. Like, there's been... Uh, I didn't talk about this, but... Like, Alinity got banned for, like, dancing, and it was considered twerking, because, yeah, the way she was dancing was, like, showing a little bit of ass. But... It's not like it was sexual, like, she was just dancing. And a lot of people were upset because she was fully clothed, like, she was wearing, like, a long dress. With a little bit of cleavage, but that's totally fine. I think showing cleavage is fine. But a lot of people were upset because... <laughs> Poppin' in luck, yeah. Um... Because she got banned for just dancing. It's not like she was intentionally twerking, that was just how she was dancing. But there's been clips of, like, prominent male streamers twerking for, like, a joke, and they don't get banned for it. So it's kind of like, it depends on how many people report the individual and also, like, just the people who conduct reviews of reports choose. Amaranth? I love Amaranth. I do think it is a problem when certain people try to push the boundaries of the TOS, because then it leads to more restrictions, in my opinion. Which kind of hurts everybody, but, you know, go for it, I guess. Okay, I'm not running ads. Okay, my goal is to get 100,000 subs. I have two minutes. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? There was one last thing that was, like, relevant. I keep seeing really sus people on my carousel. Then you're sub reporting! <laughs> that means you keep clicking on it! GTA streamers. Um, Rainy's been playing. Oh, front page beaver guys. I can be on the Twitch front page. Um, Rainy's been playing more GTA 5 on stream. 
What am I doing to get Twitch to send me those? <laughs> I don't know. If you had this much money, what would you do? Uh, I don't know. This might be the wrong answer. But if you have two milli, you could easily develop, make, produce domestically a product that is like ethically made. Yes, I would donate some money. Donating is great. But I don't like when people donate money and think they're a good person. Like, if I ever had means like that, I wouldn't donate all of it. I don't think I'd ever invest because yes, a million dollars is not enough to like live your life in its totality. Cause like the average worker makes up to a million depending on their income throughout their whole life, like from about 20 to 70. I would want to build something. Plus, when you make donations, it's a tax write-off, and that's not the best either. But then also, people make nonprofits to hide their money. I don't know. I would just want to make something. You could also, like, produce a show. You can make a film. You can make a show. So it's like, you could do so many things with that much money. Yes, I would obviously donate, but that wouldn't- that wouldn't be the main thing I would do. Okay, I said I would stop once I get to 100,000 subs. And I've- I've had so- wait, what's my gross revenue? Okay, I'll stop here, there's one more game. See, views per second, 34k, that's insane. Views per session, 94 million. So that's 94 unique viewers. Views of all time, 114 mil. Views from clicks, 3 million. Broadcast clicks, 2k. Patron donations, 45 million. Only 76 ads run. I run way more ads than that. That's like a month worth of streams because I do an ad every hour. Yeah, let's see. Organic views, 71. Videos on demand, 49. Live chat, 18. Hardware upgrade, 24. And front page feature, 9. Damn, 45 million alone from donations. That's insane. This is what I strive to be, everybody. This is the goal. You know what else is the goal? Making money. Because everybody, we are almost two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. We have one more streaming game to play. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. I think this game is a demonstration of like how exponential growth happens because I do think if you are pursuing like content creation like YouTube or Twitch or other traditional like social media, the longer you do it for, the more likely you are to gain an audience because that's just how it is. As time goes on, more people will probably naturally find you and also you'll build connections off of there. So it's about time. That's why a lot of people who started streaming or doing YouTube like five, 10 years ago have an established base audience to where like they'll either be like a, a continue or someone who continuously subs or donates. So it's kind of like, I would not have started streaming sooner because I feel like if I would have started sooner in my life, I would have been <laughs> more mentally ill. Because um, the main reason why I started streaming back in 20... 
I need to put my chair up. Back in 2021 was because I needed a creative outlet because I was I stopped working and I just needed something to do. So it's not like I started to get money. It's not you don't get money from streaming unless you have a big audience anyway. So I think it's important. For any type of endeavor you pursue, you have to do it for the right reason. Okay, last game. Okay, welcome. Welcome to Let's Play Simulator 2016. Your goal is to gain up to 1 million subscribers with your HotTube channel. The game is not random based. Real, read emails carefully. Press OK for more details. And remember, if you reach zero dollars, no let's play for you. Okay, so don't be a bro game. Okay? okay, determine if it's a good or bad game. Okay, tip. You can use the Twitter icon to get a quick advice from us or followers. Okay, I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, there is music. Okay. Dude, the music is actually nice. Okay, my channel is 50 subs. I gotta get a million dollars, right? Yeah, the cat is cute. He's probably gonna knock on my stream setup, though. Okay, Feeble Wire. Spolder's Babe. <laughs> Not sure that you're reading this, but you may want to review the new hot and sexy? RPG called Spolder's Babe from Feeblewire. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Spolder's Babe video was one of the best performing show stuff on your channel. People are happy. Your subs are growing. Ooh, plus 98? Holy. Hey, Dudish Palawara, Indian uncle. Hello, my fellow. It's me, your uncle. Dudish from India. Send me some money fast or I'll shut down your server. Wait, was there no way for me to deny it? I feel like I'm watching something I shouldn't be. Nah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Um, what server? Well, okay. You sent him money. Had to. Really. Minus five dollars. Hey, Jeremy Schoolboy. Hi. Today is my final day in school. Hope to see you there. Jeremy. Oh, these are just my normal emails. Okay. Not, not my emails. Who's that? Spam again? Also, guys, this is a foreign site. That's why some of the spelling is off. Okay, Paradox very active. Kitty is offline. Yo, Paradox very active here. You can LP. Life points are Kitty's offline in a new cool simulator game. Ooh, Katsum! <laughs> Awesome, right pick. More subs equals more money. Easy. Your sub base increased. 245 subs in a single video? Wow. Okay, well right. Slim Kitty 3. Would you like to let's play Well Right's new simulator game called Slim Kitty 3? Yes, sir. <laughs> Why was there gunshots in a cat sim? That's kind of scary. Your community is happy. Nice fids. Keep them coming. Your subs are growing. Daily report. Don't you think to sleep now? Wake up and smell the ashes. New day dawns. Daily costs $12 monthly income plus 14. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this at all. Okay, Volv. Hack Life 2. Yo, Volv here. You can LPR Hack Life 2. It's a cool new FPS game. Okay, so I played like a dating sim and then two cat sims. Maybe my audience will like FPS? <laughs> okay, Hack Life 2 just couldn't be bad. Such a such a great content for your channel. New subscribers are incoming. Your sub base is growing. Plus 212. Okay, so my best performing video was Slim Kitty 3. Seed for Kid. Greetings, Jay Salaboom here. We're ready to ship Seed for Kid. Wonderful SPF title. Would you make 
a let's play on it. Yes, sir. I don't want to become a, an FPS chill. Your channel was DDoSed after that crappy seed for kid YouTube. After the seed for kid video. Hot Tube suspended your channel for some time. You lost subs. Okay, that's not my fault, though. I got hacked. Mall of Fulfu. Hi, this is Feeblewire. We are developing Mall of Fulfu. Check out this puzzle game. Wanna review it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Rope>. uh. <laughs> A Rubik's Cube. Even beauty videos aren't so boring. Your Mall of Fulfu review is crap. Sorry, people are leaving the channel. You lost subs. Minus 13? My OG fans will watch anything I make. Max Gain 3. Greetings. Triss Robbins here. We are ready to ship Max Gain 3. Wonderful mobile game title. Would you like to make a Let's Play on it? Yeah? <laughs> Your channel was DDoSed again? What? Come on. Daily report. What a day. What a lovely day. Daily cost minus 12. Monthly income plus 13. Dude, I got DDoS twice in one day. That's kind of bad. Cal Simulator. Yo, I am Mike Indie Developer. Thanks for reviewing my strategy game about cows last month. We didn't do well with sales, but at least people know a little bit more about cows. Cows lives now. Cheers. Oh, That sucks. Cows. Huh. These guys should have made a game about a goat. Minus 10 subs. <laughs> Golf and Stained. Heard you're a cool Let's Player. Wanna do a horror game called Golf and Stained by Joe Garmuck? Yeah, why not? Why would I refuse a Let's Play? If, if I'm getting sponsored, why not? My channel is DDoSed again? I'm gonna start saying no. I'm gonna say no. I only have $33. Day 3. Plus 33. I need to get a million. Extra Z jar. Please review this great extra Z. Ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy. Wow. Jar RPG game from Vega. You won't regret it. No, I don't like drugs. Other Let's Player Duty Pie reviewed ecstasy jar on his channel. And it was a smash hit video. You should have taken it. You lost subs. I just can't win. I can't win. Killers at a Storm. Please review this great Killers at a Storm MMO game from Best of Studio. You won't regret it. Why not? Getting subs is hard in this game? I know. So, <laughs> again. What is... What? How do I know if it's a good game or not? Today you did okay. Daily cost 12, monthly income 13. Your Bitcoin farm got it, generated some money? Nice. Well, if you only if only your PC had two video cards. I got four bucks from Bitcoin, everybody. Whales of Funky Wasteland. Not sure that you're reading this, but you may want to review the new hot and sexy adventure called Whales of Funny Wasteland from Spell Mail, Mail Games. No. Road to 1 million subs can be hard. Don't give up. Just try to take correct content for your channel. You lost some subs. Is my audience just like coomers and FPS fans? Is that what they are? Oh my god. Why is my desk so musky? I literally sit at my desk all day. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Brady. A whole year. Holy moly. Can we get some Wainies in chat? Hi, Rainy. <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> Hi, Rainy. Can we get some Yo's? Yeah, Rainy blocked her for you. She saved your ass. Okay, Mac, the reason why I say it that way is so if people know, they know, okay? Just don't actually say the word. <laughs> I'm adding a block term. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but thank you, Rainy, for the resub.
Get back back to being a streamer. <laughs> here stone. Yo, Blizzard here. You heard you can LPR here stone. It's a cool new strategy game. Yes. Come on, please be good. I want a million subs. Yes! Who would know that such a strange game as here stone would be so popular on your channel? Nice stuff. Your subs are going plus 263. Let's go. Ombisoft, JC. Would you like to let's play Ombisoft's new adventure game called JC? Yeah. JCS? I love JCS. Even beauty videos aren't so boring. Your JC review is crap. Sorry, people are leaving it to your channel. You lost subs. Why are so many people unsubscribing? That's so mean. It's just one game. I, I get it if I like say something bad, okay? But for one video game video... Okay, Veil Blow 6. Hello, I am Freddy from Park Morheim. Have you seen our new RPG game? It's called Veil Blow 6. We lifted embargo, now you can review it. Yeah, early access, early access, come on. <laughs> How do I know if it's a good game or not? Oh my god, this is so stupid. This is dumb. Everybody hates what I do. What a day, what a lovely day. Daily cost 12, monthly income 13. Oh wait, I can look at on Twitter. Oh, what what the f it opened Twitter. What the fuck? Wait. What? Okay, when I was reading the directions, when it said it opens Twitter, or it said you can look on Twitter to see the actual reviews. Yeah, that's why I have an incognito tab. Chatters, if you're streaming and you're doing like screen capture in your browser, do an incognito tab for that reason. It literally just opened Twitter, like my homepage, but I was logged out, so. What? That's stupid. Why would they have that hotkey? That's D-O-M. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Maybe I have to, like, actually look up the game review? But how would I know that? I ain't doing that shit. Okay, Final, Final Fantasy X. Greetings, Queer Fenix here. We're ready to ship Final Fantasy X. Wonderful RPG title. Would you make a Let's Play on this? Yes. Everybody loves Final Fantasy, even though I've never played it and I have no desire to. Yes, finally, plus 270. Audio is desynced. Oh. Yo. On my camera? <laughs> I didn't change it back. Omega Dance. Okay. Heard you're a cool Let's Player. Want to do an Avenger game called Larry Grotter by Ear Games? On the full screen cam and looked off? Oh no. Is that like only now let me check let me check that looks fine it's fine oh yeah it's fine mac is trolling Yeah, don't worry, Mac. You're fine. It's... I think it could be because my OBS was having issues and just my frame rate will never be, like, in real time with my face cam. I can fix it, but I don't know how. It's also... Because my camera runs at 60 FPS and depending on if I stream at 30 or 60 FPS, then the audio will never be truly synced. It sucks. But you know what? That's fine. That's what I gotta do if I don't have a true PC. <clears throat> okay, Ear Games, Larry Grotter. Heard you're a cool Let's Player. Wanna do an adventure camp called Larry Grotter by Ear Games? No. <laughs> Bye, Mac. Mistake. Larry Grotter managed to hit top three in the charts. He lost some subs. I will never play the Harry Potter game. I'm protesting. Zombie soft. 
Moccasin? Oh yeah, that's how you say it. Moccasin. S breed. Greetings, Ambisoft here. We're ready to ship Moccasin's breed. Wonderful action title. Would you make a let's play on this? Yes. Please be good. Please. Everybody watch it. Subscribe. Yes! Plus 213. Psycho fence. Is this supposed to be like scribble not psycho fence? Would you like to make a let's play of Jim Joffer's new adventure game called Psycho Fats? Yeah, why not? Dude, the grunts I make when I'm playing when I'm playing the game is so scary. Okay, Psycho Fats 2 just couldn't be bad. Such great content for your channel. New subscribers are incoming, your sub base is growing. Plus 7, 16. I almost doubled my sub count. Oh my god. You're so tired, but that was a great day. Daily class, 18. Money income, 20. Yeah, I doubled my sub count. That's like what happened to me one day on TikTok. Like, one of my Mario Kart clips, I think it was the food can drive video. I gained, like, I think, like, 1,500 followers in a day. It was crazy. But I have peaked. I haven't had a video pop off as well as that one did. But that's fine. I gradually gained followers. Because as long as people like what I do, I'll keep doing it. And also, I don't- whenever I post videos online, or stream even, I don't hyper-focus on, like, wanting to hit the peaks again. Because if you focus too much on that, or if you think to yourself, why isn't this popping off or going viral, then you're not making something to make it. You're making something that will perform well, and that to me is more akin to, like, how an actual production studio would work, and that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to make stuff that I have fun doing. That's my goal. <clears throat> okay. Heard you're cool. Let's play. Want to do an FPS game called Puke Muke em Together? <laughs> Why not? That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they have water guns? What? <laughs> oh, wait. You know the fart gum from Minions? <laughs> awesome. Right picks equals more subs, more money. Plus 699 subs. Okay, maybe I'm popping off. Maybe I'll... I'm gonna get that million dollar play button, everybody. I'm gonna do it. Yo, Pleasard here. You can LPR Bubble Gummy Sensei. It's a cool new action game. Okay, that sounds cringe, but I'll do it. Your channel was DDoSed again. Minus 284. Okay, but now that I have 2,000 subs, if I lose 100, it's fine. You have such violent leaning viewers. Um, just because you enjoy FPS games doesn't mean you're violent, okay? But yeah, they have some weird preferences. <laughs> I mean, this game was made in 2016, and that's when, like, FPS was first popping off on YouTube, I think, right? Hi, this is Denol. We're developing B-Field. Check out this horror game. Want to review it? <laughs> if I don't play it, then PewDiePie will play it, so I must play it first. <laughs> Minus 267. You look bad. Go to sleep. Anyways, the day was cool. Daily cost 18, monthly income 20. Uh oh. I would be so sad if my YouTube channel gained and then lost this many subs in a day. I would be devastated. Okay, Car Raft. Not sure if you're reading this, but you may want to review a new hot and sexy strategy game called Car Raft from Pleaser. Why not? Oh my god, it's Fall Guys! Ooh, plus 685, nice! Hi, I'm Freddy from Ambisoft. Have you seen our new adventure game? It's called Chairman. We lifted embargo, now you can review it. Isn't Ambisoft boring games? If I play a game, I take it out. If I don't play a game, I take it out. I might as well just play every little game. Yeah, spell made games here. You can LP our working bread. It's a cool new adventure game. That sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> working bread video was one of your best performing videos on your channel. People are happy. What do a bread sim could do so well? Greetings, NC Loft here. We are ready to ship Fine Page 2. Wonderful MMO title. Would you make a let's play on this? 
Yes. Oh. Even though MMOs, I think, are boring. 658? Wait. Wait. Daily report. Don't you think to sleep now? Wake up and smell the ashes. New day dawns. Daily cost 18. Monthly income or money income 29. Tune 2. Not sure that you're reading this, but you may want to review the new hot and sexy strategy called Tune 2 from Mice. I think I played that already. Yeah, it's Fall Guys. Minus 172. There's no pattern. There's literally no pattern. Yo, Tris Robbins here. You can LPR bar sights in a coolness sim game. I think my audience likes sim games. They like sim and FPS. Yes, 683. Everybody loves me. Alright, this is Ambisoft. We are developing Troll of Juke Dummies. Check out this FPS game. Yes, FPS. They love FPS. 782. Nice. Heard you're a cool Let's Play. Want to do a horror game called Bomber Watch by Triss Robbins. Triss... Wait, Triss Robbins was the guy who just did the game before this one, so yeah. Haha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my audience does not like horror games. Okay, daily cost 18, monthly income 34. My income is increasing, though. Greetings. Pardonix is very active here. Ready to ship cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Wonderful horror title. Would you like to make a let's play on it? No. Wrong. Try to read letters carefully. You should let's play real cool games. Your sub base decreased. There's no pattern. Okay, I'm gonna speed run. I'm just gonna click yes on everything. I'm not even gonna read what the game is. Oh, plus 759, stop crying. Mobile game, okay. I'm not even reading. I'm just I'm gonna play every game. Every sponsor that comes my way, I'll play it. There's no pattern. My audience hates me no matter what I do. Wait, I'm gonna click no now. Oh, this is one game that I did not play and my sub count did not change. Ooh, Instagram. 96 subs. I didn't expect this sellout arc. Shut up. Hi, welcome in, Kimir. Can we get some yos? Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> it's a game, obviously. I would never do this in real life. I'm skipping every game just to see... Okay, I, I don't think I'll ever gain subscribers if I skip a game. Okay, I'm literally losing so many subs by not playing anything. I might as well just play literally every game. Oh, uh, Kimir, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I I didn't read that. <laughs> Nor Park just Nor Park cartoon just had an episode about you. Big audience boost. I have three thousand subs and I'm getting featured in television. That's kind of wild. The series was hilarious, especially farming jokes. You've got a great sub growth after that. Be nice. Please review this great dress master puzzle game from Avisaw. <laughs> Please, it's gonna say it's boring minus 2k subs. 
Ooh, six, six, six. Oh, scary number. Okay, my daily revenue isn't going up by much. It's gonna take forever to get to a million subs. Oh, we're only two weeks in. It takes people forever to get like a hundred thousand subs. <laughs> oh my god, League of Legends! <laughs> it's your broker. You should invest aggressively to VHS tapes. That's stupid. I don't- I don't think anybody even uses VHS anymore. Cause VHS tapes, they wear and tear over time. Like, literally, the more you watch a tape, the more likely it is to like skip or glitch out. It's kind of silly. Even DVD too. D even DVDs too. Cause a lot of the DVDs I have when I was younger, I'll scratch it up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll finish out this day. Ooh, 742 subs. Holy. Okay, my goal was to get 5k subs. That was actually my goal. Mrs. Mac, rent, darling. Don't you forget to pay rent, or else. You paid rent to Miss Mac, old hag. Gasp. <laughs> okay. I now have less than 5,000 subs. This is... It's dumb. It's dumb. What is the point? I, I try to make good little videos. Nobody likes it. They all unsubscribe. What's the point? I'm gonna quit. In game, not in real life. I'm a full-time streamer now. I would never quit. No, I do think it's funny. Or not funny, but weird, rather. Like, you'll get randos going into, like, a small streamer. Or, like, a regular chatter will be like, Hey, are you gonna quit streaming at some point? And it's like, Why are you asking? That's, like, That's so weird to ask. Like, huh? It's like, You getting a job and be like, Hey, when are you gonna quit? When are you going to turn in your two weeks? It's like... I, I think the only reason why people feel comfortable to ask that to smaller creators is because they know it's not sustainable long term, I guess. But it's still, like, weird to ask. It's weird. Guys, I'll never quit. Nah. We'll see what happens. We're at, we're at year two. And I think we're doing good. You know what else is great? Following the channel, because everybody, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. I think now, after playing those YouTuber and Twitch streamer sim games, I think I have a good idea of what to expect going full time now. <laughs> Even if they were so stupid. Because, <laughs> like, they were the only, like, free Flash games I could find. <laughs> But that was still nice. It was still fun. I think the first one that talked about like negative comments had a bit more like engaging conversation. Because I have the belief of that if you do anything creatively, you have to have the motivation to do so. In the sense of like you have to do it because you want to make something. And I think that is the most important part of any form of creative outlet, whether it be like film, like traditional art or drawing, or streaming. I think streaming in itself is a creative outlet, too. Yeah, there were some wild-ass comments in that first game. Because I think the point of that game was to um, kind of give people perspective on the negativity you can face online. I know I myself, I don't necessarily let negative things bother me if it's online, because I understand, like, if you see some rando in person, they're not going to be like an asshole right off the bat, right? People are typically only mean online because they have that barrier. Like, it's not like I can yell at you back through the screen. It's kind of like, if I can delete your comment, you can also block me as well. It doesn't really matter. That's why, like, anytime I do get, like, a negative comment in, like, a chat or, like, in a comment section, I usually delete it because it's not worth, like, fighting or arguing. But yeah. But I think it's also important to not hyper-focus on the negativity. Because I do agree with the sentiment that um, negative things do stand out a lot more than the positive. Even if you have like an outpour of positive input, 
even one or two negative things can stand out and hurt you more. But you have to understand that no matter what you do, you have to have faith and confidence in yourself and your own ability. Like if somebody's like, oh, you suck at the game, but you know that you're decent, like just don't let it bother you. But it, it does take time to build that shield. So don't be upset if it takes a bit of time. Okay, everybody, I think we can wrap it up here for today. Short stream, short stream. Um, plan for this week is, let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday. Friday is the art shop giveaway. So everybody go follow at Peace and Art on Twitch and go bookmark my website. It is peaceandart.myshopify.com. New drop is on Friday. I will also be doing a giveaway stream here on this channel, giving away a painting and two gift cards. Wow. <laughs> what else? What else? A shameless plug? Ain't no way. What do you mean? What is this? Oh. What is this? Is this piece and art on my shopify.com? Ain't no way, everybody. New paintings coming out next, or not next week, this Friday. This Friday, everybody. So go bookmark the page right now. Do it. Click the link in chat. Um, we're gonna do calligraphy, so if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. So let me get that set up. Yeah, after stream today, I'm probably gonna paint, because I need to get ready for lunch. Because I've realized that... I should- I think I'm gonna keep two in stock of each painting, because I essentially make three of each version. Because I have one back here for show, so a display piece. Or no, I make four. I made four. Or I'm planning on making four for every piece. That way I can have one for display. Um, and then three to sell, but then I was thinking about it. If one gets damaged in transit, for example, heaven forbid then I need to have an extra on standby. So I think I'm only gonna have two in stock of each painting. Guys, limited edition, limited, limited stock. Okay, let's do Euler names first. It does feel weird coming back to stream after almost a week. It feels weird. Like, I'm sure most of you guys can tell, but I was having difficulty talking. Not because I was like nervous, nervous, but I was like, oh, <laughs> it's been a while. Hopefully, now that I'm out of school, I shouldn't have to take long gaps in stream. Once again, thank you, Mac, for the two gifted to the chat room. Thank you to gifting to individual viewers. That's very helpful. So thank you, Mac. The stream itself is comforting. Oh, that's so cute. I know I have my own, I guess, comfort creators too. Because, like, stream is definitely a comfort for me as well. Because it, it almost feels like a group chat sometimes, you know? Maybe have a good handful of people chatting.
Also, my sister and I are probably gonna start donating plasma soon. Um, mainly so we can get like a few extra bucks. Because my sister and I were like, well, if your disability gets denied, we'll just do plasma. And I was like, okay. So, we're gonna try to do that this weekend. Because plasma is- t it's in your blood, but it's not- it's like a- it's like shit inside your blood. Because we had to find a clinic near us. Because there's not many in Washington that are like kind of away from the bigger cities. So we had to find one that we could like take the bus to. And also, I was watching this one clip, um, and it was Iron Mouse talking about the importance of plasma donations specifically, because it basically has um, components within it that some people cannot produce on their own. I don't know what the actual technical thing is, but she was saying how plasma donations is basically what helps keep certain or some Im severely immunocompromised people, like, alive. Because it's- some of the components of plasma is used in certain medicines. And, like, transfusions, that type of thing. And I, I remember watching the clip and I was, like, crying. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I didn't- Because, like, I understand the importance of donating, but... It's a lot more impactful when you hear it from somebody who needs that type of support, I guess. Yeah, I was crying. Because <laughs> I was watching that last night. So that was, like, a another push to help to have my sister and I, like, finally take the steps to try and donate. We had Mac with two gifted and then Rainy with a year resub. Holy moly, triple sunflower badge. Um, but I- I don't- my sister should be able to donate because she's really healthy, but me- Because my condition isn't in my blood. So I should be fine, like, I don't have any blood-based diseases, so I should be able to find- I should be fine to donate. But basically how the process works is you can- depending on the clinic, you can walk in or pre-schedule online and then they take, like, a test donation, because they have to, like, run tests on it to see if you have, like, underlying diseases before they can donate it. And then you can proceed to keep donating every few days. So hopefully I can try donate once or twice a week. That way I can get like an extra hundred bucks a month or something. And also help people in need. Smile. Because they would have um, blood donation, like, I guess vans come to our school sometimes when I was in high school. But I never did it because I was too scared. <laughs> I 
Whenever I hear you mention the potential future game being Slime Rancher, I'm always like... Is that like running away or running towards? <laughs> I can't tell. But Slime Rancher was on sale on the Nintendo shop last week, but I, I didn't buy it because I was like... Maybe I'll try it, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it after we... Or after I get burnt out on um, Cozy Grove. Because I do think I would enjoy Slime Rancher. I genuinely do. Because I think to change up my stream schedule to like add an extra hour every stream. Because I need, I need to get my hours up. Um, I want to do similar to what we did before with Animal Crossing. No matter what stream game I do, I just do like an hour of like a cozy game. To kind of wind down the stream. I think I want to do that every day. Starting this week. If if I feel like it. <laughs> okay everybody. This is the last name of the day. If you want me to write your name. All you need to do is donate to the channel. Or use your channel points. Here we go, last call. Last call. Yo, got five, four, three, two. One and we're done. We're done. Oh my god, Hassan is live. He has fifty thousand viewers. Uh oh, oh, what happened? Whenever I see like Hassan have like a massive viewer count, I'm like, what global event happened? I'm like, what catastrophe has commenced? Okay, so I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today. Also, thank you for the new follow. Thank you. Um, my plan is to try to go live every day this week, so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday! I'm going to be doing the painting giveaway stream to celebrate the launch of new drops on peaceandart.myshopify.com. So everybody, go bookmark my website. Please, do it now. Go bookmark it. Um, what else, what else? Also, if you don't want to miss a single stream, make sure you have notifications turned on and you are also following my Twitter. Because I usually do go live tweets right before I go live. That way you guys can come in and hang out in the offline chat for a little bit. Um, genuinely, thank you everybody who watches. Like, genuinely, I like hanging out with everybody. No matter what I do, I feel like I have a good time. Sorry if I feel a bit off today. I'm still a bit stressed about my disability. But you know what? Or benefits, not my disability. That's every day. <laughs> but I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm good. So everybody, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> In my life. I can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You watch the Nintendo Direct? Yeah, I mean, it's just the American government system giving me a fat L. But you know what? It'll be fine. I just gotta become a full-time streamer, for real. I love how you misspelled it twice. No, but for sure, now that I don't have homework, expect more just chatting streams, because now I feel like I'll have more time to plan.
Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.